What happens when a bunch of kids get together? Wait, no, 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 scratch that. A bunch of crazy kids. They create characters. Yeah. Write stories. Record their voices. Make theme songs. Throw in some sound effects. And, and what, what do you get? Want? We have another great lineup of cartoons for you today. And the best part is they're all made by kids, like us. Well, Molly, let's not waste any more time and get this show started. Sounds good, Colin. What's on the menu today? Mad corn. Mad corn? Yes, mad corn. Take a look. You, but I could go for some pizza right now. Did you say pizza? Yes, yes, I did. Well, then feast your eyes on this next cartoon because it's all about pizza and peace. There was a pretty girl who had a peace party at a pizza parlor. I'm so excited for my party. Welcome to my pizza parlor. Why are you dressed like a man if you're a pizza? I'm embarrassed that I'm a pizza and serve pizza. Well, that's definitely not a secret. I know. I have an idea. I will turn you into a man with my magical powers. If you are worthy enough. How do I do that? That's for you to decide. All right. But what the pizza didn't know was that the mermaid had a plan. She invited her friends to stir things up. Isn't this the best, most peaceful party ever? Have some pizza and celebrate peace. Does it have anchovies? Yuck! I hate anchovies. 
No anchovies. I love a piece of pizza. Did you say you want some pizza? Absolutely. Hey, what did you do that for? <laughs> Here, have another. <gasps> oh, oh, my gosh. gosh. Food fight! What's the hair, mister? My pizza parlor. What a mess. My peace party is ruined. <laughs> my peace party. Don't cry. I will fix this. Time for action. Yeah, me too. I'll help clean. That's not helping. Hey, Dragon, did you say you liked anchovies? One Mars cheese pizza with extra anchovies coming right up. Ugh, anchovies. I don't feel so good. <laughs> Look, the pizza, he's, he's a pretty man. And the pretty girl fell in love at her own peace party. How romantic. And, and they, they all lived in peace. peace. The, the end. end. Peace party. Peace party. Peace party. Peace party. Oh, that was so romantic. It was, and don't forget about Peaceful. Uh, Coyblin. Yes, Molly? You need to introduce the next cartoon. Oh, yeah. Okay, the next cartoon is... The Dark Alley Door. Softy the porcupine is in bed reading the tale of the dark alley of doom. Hmm, I'm a QA explorer. I can get the treasure. Ah, ah. So Softy the porcupine left his house in the light alley of happiness and headed straight to the dark alley of doom. Where do you think you're going? That way. I don't think so. Oh, look, a flying buffalo. Where? The porcupine checked the porta potty and ran right into the dark alley of doom. Ha ha ha, walks every time. As the porcupine was thinking how easy that was, he walked right into. Ah! I do eat. It will be stuck in forever. Suddenly, an anchovy-throwing alien flew overhead. Look out below! <laughs> you anchovies! Ah, uh, 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 well, let go! You will miss your doom! You must surrender! Go back where you come from! Look, a flying pencil! The porcupine did it again. He got away and continued down the dark alley of doom. This is not your fault, Weed. No, it's your fault. Oh, no, not again. Where do you think you're going? Over there. I don't think so. Look, a flying pig. Not this time. Look, a flying buffalo. Where? Softy Porcupine did it again. Ah, 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 I found the treasure. A gold whip as big as seven. And a million trillion dollars and three tacos for life at the unnamed taco bar. Ah, ah, ah. As a porcupine reached for the treasure, he fell right through it. Huh? A mirage? Too bad the porcupine didn't read the end of the book. <laughs> the dark alley of The dark alley of The treasure was just a mirage. Speaking of mirage, 
I wish I could dream up some pizza right now. I am still hungry. Let's go to the kitchen. What kitchen? In the kitchen in this next cartoon. Super Band-Aid Cooking Show. <gasps> Super Band-Aid Cooking Show. Super Band-Aid Cooking Show. Super Band-Aid Cooking Show. Super Band-Aid Cooking Show. Band cookin show. That Welcome to Super Band-Aid Cooking Show. Let's welcome our host, Jeff Band-Aid, and his lovely assistant, Snowflake. Today, I'll make my favorite dish, crackers and ice. Our crackers have been baking for the last 30 minutes. Let's take a look. Snowflake, be so kind and get me the ice cream. Sure thing, Jeff. Hey, Snowflake, what's the chef making today? Crackers and ice cream. Sounds delicious. It was getting a little bit toasty in there, Chef. How about some ice cream to cool you off? Ice cream, coming right up. Sounds delightful. That cracker sure looks yummy. Lunch, here I come. Ah, why, why did, did you do, do that? that? Sorry, I was hungry. The cracker sure looks yummy. Now I can't finish the dish for the show. I'm gonna melt without any purpose. I'm sorry. Now I feel really bad. I have an idea. What? what? Soda. Huh? You'll see. Drink up, be. Okay. Whatever you say. Meanwhile, in the bumblebee's stomach. I'm gonna call my mommy. Go, 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 go. <laughs> what just happened? Cracker, you're back! Purpose again. Soda does the trick every time. Okay, let's finish the show. Cracker, ice cream, get onto the plate. When the crackers is finished baking, just add ice cream. Then you have a tasty treat. Louvre. Crackers, crackers and, and ice cream. cream. Yummy. And that wraps up another episode of the Super Band-Aid Cooking Show. Until, Until next time. Super Band-Aid Cooking Show. Super Band-Aid Cooking Show. Super Band-Aid Cooking Show. Super Band-Aid Cooking Show. Now. Crackers and ice cream. Was that your stomach? No. It's my big toe. It does that when I'm hungry. There also seems to be a common thread in between these cartoons. You know what that is? What's that? Food. Okay, then, <laughs> let's change the subject. Next up, saving Zarnia. Secretary Doris, please tell Afro Man and Samurai Wolf to come to my office. No! Yes, sir, Mayor Big Butt. You call me your Big Butt, dude? What do you want from me? I don't know, sir. You asked for us. Why is your Afro talking to me? Uh, because I'm Afro Man and that's what I do. Do you have a problem with that? Okay, quick, get some paper and jot this down. But, dude, we don't have any paper. Ha! I know this. We're all out! Your mission is to go to the forest of Zarnia and cut down all the trees to make more paper. But, sir, there's not much forest left. Yeah, dude, there'll be none left. You will do what I say! Yes, sir. I love our forest so much, don't you, Evil Duck? Very much so, Swamp Monster. Quack, quack. What in Zarnia is going on? We are making paper for our boss, dude. You cannot stop us. We are hypnotized and very, very powerful. Should we use our superpowers to stop them? No need to get our hands dirty. I am my unhypnotizing ray. Quack, quack. Dude, what just happened? You are destroying our forest. We're sorry. Our boss made us hypnotize to make us do it, dude. We believe you, but you must take us to this mayor fat butt of yours. Yes, we need to talk with him. Mr. Fat Butt, Samurai Wolf and Afro Man are here to see you. Send them in. Who's one here? You're not Samurai Wolf and Afro Man. 
No, and you're not being nice to the environment, and that's rude. Yes, it is, Evil Duck. I think we should make them plant trees instead of cutting them down. Oh, yeah? And how are you going to make me do that? We're, We're going to shoot, shoot you with, with our hypnotizing gun, gun. sucker. Wah! Yes, yes. Plant trees. Don't cut them down. Unfortunately, there are mayor big bets all over the world. Yes, and you need to do what you can to stop them. Everybody save a tree. Save a tree! Saving Zarya had a great message on helping the environment. It sure did. So what's up next, Molly? Next up is Sky High. Let's check it out. who are looking for food. I am so hungry. Me too. What should we do? Come on, over here. <laughs> Hello, ladybugs. What's going on? We are looking for food. We, we are, are hungry. hungry. I know you guys can get some food. Where? Where? My friend Balloon Man's house. He always has food. Ladybugs are hungry. Do you have any food? Oh no! I only have a pretzel. But don't worry! I know what to do! Hello, Bully Ball! Can you come over? Hi guys, I'm here. What's going on? We're, We're hungry. hungry. Oh, I see. I don't have any food. All I have is this crumb. I know what to do. Hello, jellyfish. Can you come over to Blue Man's house? Okay, I'll see you in a minute. Well, hopefully the next cartoon isn't food-related. Let's watch and find out. Viewer discretion is advised. Bobo the crazy farmer lives on Science Island. He had a frog named Ding Ding, and they did experiments in his laboratory every day. Inside, Ding Ding, we have work to do. Ding Ding, I said come inside! Jeez, I'm hopping as fast as I can, Bobo. 
Frogs don't hop very fast, remember? Oh, Ding Ding, are you still angry that I accidentally turned you into a frog? <sighs> I told you I'm sorry, Ding Ding. It was a mistake. I used to be a human, but now I'm a stupid devil frog. We can discuss this later, Ding Ding. Right now, we need to work. Today, we will be doing some research. I need you to use my time travel toilet and bring back a robot from the year 3048 so I can inspect his circuit board. Not the time travel toilet. That thing never works right. Just climb on, Ding Ding. I promise it will work this time. All right. Here we go, 3048. Bring me back a robot, Ding Ding. I'll be waiting right here. Be back in time, not forward. All I got was this silly Viking with gas. Hey, I'm not silly. Where am I, anyways? Quiet, Viking! I'm going to have to get that robot for myself. Ding ding, set the toilet. All right, 3048. Ha 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 ha! I'm Tick Tick. Watch me conquer this lab. Tick Tick, what are you doing? Bobo's gonna be furious. Hello, my name is Poop Poop. I am a super robot from the future. My laboratory! What happened? It's a mess! Hello, Tick Tick. It is nice to meet you. Hello, robot! Hello, Ding Ding. It is nice to meet you. I said quiet. I can't take it anymore. Ah! Maybe we should remove Bobo. I let's flush him down this time traveling toilet. Yes, I know how to use it. I'll send him really, really far into the past. Goodbye, Bobo. No! And so Tick Tick, Ding Ding, and Poop Poop flushed Bobo back in time. They all became friends and lived happily together on Science Island. The end. That was so funny. Especially the characters' names. Who comes up with this stuff? Kids! Well, let's see what else they come up with. It was a beautiful sunny day at the castle. Everyone was playing and having a good time until... Catch this. I got it! I got it! I I don't got it! But it's try, computer. The ball fell in a deep hole. I'll just go get the ball, no problem. Okay. okay. So the computer went down the deep hole to get the ball. There you are! Grumble, grumble, you little teeth. Ah! Yeah. I wonder what's taking computer so long. I don't know, but I don't know, Jack. Okay. So the crayon went down the deep hole to get the ball and the computer. Computer, where are you? Grumble, grumble. You are not a computer. You look tasty. taking them so long. I guess I'll just get the ball myself. So the pillow went down the deep hole <coughs> to get the ball, computer, and crayon. Guys, where are you? Hello? Grumble, grumble. Have you seen the ball, computer, or crayon down here? Yes. Do you mind telling me where they are? Yeah. Hello, crayon, and computer all thought of a plan to escape. Are you ready, crayon and pillow? Yep. 
I think it's working. All of a sudden, the pizza got the big cough. <laughs> Crayon, computer, pillow, and the ball flew out of the pizza and out of the deep hole. We're back! Yay! Yay! I really like that cartoon, but it made me want pizza again. <laughs> I can't win. Unfortunately, we're out of time for today. <laughs> Already? Yeah. Oh, man. That's okay. We'll be back with another great episode of Cartoons Made by Kids. Pizza, pizza out. out. I'm still hungry. I am.